This is the 2024 Mercedes-Benz GLE 350 4MATIC SUV. I'll show you guys all the exterior features of this redesigned new fresh look on the GLE and take a look at the interior and also go for a drive. This GLE is finished in this polar white exterior and interior has Macchiaro beige powered by 2 liter inline 4 turbo engine producing 255 horsepower with 295 pound feet of torque and it has zero to 60 in seven seconds in addition it has a 9g tronic nine speed automatic transmission eco start stop dynamic select options and four matic all wheel drive let's start with the exterior look starting with the front look very large intakes right here with the high gloss black elements new bumpers front and rear primary gonna grow with the diamond pins because just GLE has the mg line exterior package which also has the night package which is why you have high gloss black elements around the windows black side mirror surrounds uh, in addition, the active distance histronic system sits right here on the Mercedes Star. Works with radar technology on the windshield to provide for the driver assistance packages, which means active lane changes and following distances. The car can maintain speeds with the cars and traffic ahead of you. The Mercedes Star is flush on the hood, power domes on the hood as well. And uh, these are the new headlamps with a single eyebrow and two dots. By the way, these are LED high performance headlamps. You can also get the multi-beam LED headlamps. Let's check out the side profile. Good looking horizontal lines and uh, wheel arches finish in the same color as the car. The sides are the front tires, 2550 R20. These are 20 inch rims with the twin five spoke AMG performance rims. The black brake calipers, the front discs are actually perforated. The sides are the rear tires. 275 50 r20 these are also 20 inch rims of the rear the mercedes star sits at the center here good looking tires and the wheel arches finish in the same color as the car stepping back here on the rear design all new led tail lamps right here for matic insignia on the right hand side gle 350 on the left mercedes star right here on the chrome elements coming down here to the lower section there is a class 2 trailer hitch right here the towing capacity on this gle 350 is about 7700 pounds exhaust tail pipes finish in chrome and by the way these are fake exhausts the real exhausts are actually underneath on the other side as well high gloss black element right here on the lower section of the bumper it's a very nice fresh look privacy glass on the rear window let's check out the back space here this GLE 350 has a third row seat option, which is excellent for families, road trips. Uh, this is so nice, next level. I love this feature, which means the cargo space is slightly smaller because of the third row seat option. And uh, these buttons here can be used to either lower the seats and also raise them at the same time. That's a plus in my books. And uh, that's the rear design here. Love the chrome element right here. And also here to protect this section of the bumper when you're putting luggage in and out of the trunk has an electronic tailgate which is a plus in my book let's check out the rear seating right now second row seat options very elegant spaces back here you can have three adults in the back sit very comfortably as you can see it's quite spacious i have about three four inches between my knees and the seat in front of me more than enough space some storage down here as well two cup holders right here and uh, the leather on these seats is perforated provides for additional cooling climate control vents over here two usb-c ports additional connectivity storage netting behind each seat which is a plus and uh, has boom is the hind speaker system controls over here for those seats and uh, door trim on this wood and the black MB text as well as macchiato beige and additional storage down here and that's the view at the back there's a button right here to open up the third row seat access press once on it and the seat starts to move out it does take a while about 20 seconds to completely move out of the way to allow for third row seat access and there is two cup holders at the center here and uh, wow more USB-C ports at the back how cool is that and then on the other side accessory lights and you can see the view from here the door accessories will be up here and uh, good quality headrest as you'd expect in this GLE Macchiato beige seat belts on either side and that's a look from the back you have to press and hold this button to return the seat to the to your original position and that's the look at the third row seat section let's jump to the front 
front passengers respective power memory seats one two three heated as well as cooled seats berm is the high end speaker system storage compartments down here which is a plus and i love how this contrast stitching looks over here and uh, this is a view from the passenger's perspective at the front wood trim on the upper dash all very nice quality materials and uh, this GLE is fully loaded has the following options driver assistance package plus which includes the active distance restronic systems the active steering assist as well as active brake assist with cross traffic function in addition has the warmth and comfort package which means rapid heating front seats heated front armrests and door panels it also has a third row seat package as I showed you before and in addition has a night package and also the MG line exterior package which means MG body styling including wheel arches painted with the same vehicle color mg wheels mg star pattern grill and also the exclusive trim package berm is the surround system augmented video for navigation ventilated front seats total retail seventy seven thousand dollars let's adjust the infotainment screens at the front on the driver's side to the understated also switch back to the sport theme and uh, set it to info look at the engine data power torque the Julie is such a comfortable ride um, it just glides barely any noticeable uh, road feedback or noise from the outside although I do feel like the engine is slightly underpowered it's a 2 liter inline 4 turbocharged engine 255 horsepower 295 pound throttle torque 0 to 60 in 7 seconds I think for 300 horsepower should have been a bit adequate but all in all it's a very rewarding drive experience feels very soft and it just glides and uh, good brakes and it has eco start stop feature which helps you conserve fuel so in situations such as these at uh, the traffic stop the engine just shuts off to conserve fuel fuel economy 20 city 27 on the highway for combined MPG of 23 and I do have the spec sheet right here you will see that 20 MPG for the city 27 highway 23 combined city highway fuel economy so you spend about 4250 more in fuel costs over four years compared to other new cars and uh, retail price is uh, $77,000 Other options as we browse the MBUX infotainment system has a navigation map and uh, 3D maps. You can search for gas station search in the vicinity and you'll see all the locations show up. You can just decide to drive to a gas station and uh, I'm just testing the responsiveness it's uh, second generation MBUX infotainment so it's a very fast system received a ton of fresh new updates testing the horn here and uh, you can see it has uh, navigation it has uh, augmented reality navigation how cool is that now the front facing camera on the Panamericana grill <clears throat> offers these views in HD quality and it's advised me to make a u-turn on the other side Wow, that is such a unique feature so if you get a GLE 350 make sure you get the navigation with augmented reality you can see all these arrows which show up here that is so nice 
and uh, I'm just gonna cancel the route guidance let's go back to the infotainment show you other options phone menu can connect up to two devices and uh, radio the icons actually look slightly larger they used to be slightly at the top here but they are slightly larger it's more responsive to the touch and uh, media USB-C rather USB ports and Bluetooth and uh, Mercedes apps and comfort menu seat kinetics which means uh, side bolstering and uh, support for the driver based on the driving conditions let's go back has heated heat settings and automatic seat positioning based on your height and uh, there is an off-road menu right here which shows you your inclination compass as well as altitude and uh, tire pressure you can see it's measuring at 42 psi all throughout it's a fairly new car and uh, camera system right here shows you uh, the undercarriage you can see the cameras and the camera image turns off when the speed is too high which is which is okay and uh, settings driver driving options and uh, let me show you the, the dynamic select options inside this car has an eco mode for better fuel efficiency comfort and a sport mode pretty adequate in addition uh, because of the driver assistance packages in this car the lane keeping assist sends a vibration to the steering wheel when you start to deviate from your path and you start to step on the road markers so that's another plus in this car and that's it those are the options in this GLE and uh, tons of data on the driver's side the digital instrument cluster as well more than enough uh, data the g-forces engine data depending on the drive mode selected you can see all those options and uh, has a 360 degree camera system And uh, that's a look at the 2024 Mercedes GLE 350. Subscribe to Mercedes Lunch for weekly Mercedes. Other options right here wood trim on the center dash. <coughs> Other interior options. Other interior option center console finish in wood trim right here you can also option the black piano liquid trim but I think this is the best option to have in your GLE because it's not going to be a scratch and uh, fingerprint magnet two cup holders NFC wireless charging and uh, USB-C ports down here the center trackpad has haptic feedback for your navigation for the MBUX dynamic select options right here and uh, parking systems favorite volume media navigation map radio and uh, telephone as well and those are the options at the center here there is additional storage and one USB-C port right here all in all it's a great car the GLE 350 for 2024 subscribe to Mercedes Lounge